Good evening, my people. When should you see a doctor when having muscle stiffness? When should you see a doctor when having a muscle stiffness? We are back in our today's episode whereby we are concluding our topic on muscle pull and uh, yesterday we started talking about muscle stiffness and before we continue as my tradition I always appreciate you people because I'm where I am because of your support and if it were not for you I could not be producing these videos but your support has kept me going so let's continue supporting this channel and let's benefit from this for those who are complaining because they have given their topics and they have not been discussed just be patient because I don't want to jump from one topic to another without finishing it I want you to get nothing but the best so let's be patient and in due, in due time your topic will be discussed when to see a doctor when having a muscle stiffness anytime you have pain that concerns you consider seeing a doctor or an healthcare professional anytime you have pain that concerns you Consider seeing a doctor or a healthcare professional. If you have muscle stiffness along with other symptoms such as fever, fatigue, sore throat, and headache, consider making an appointment with your doctor. Let me repeat this one. If you have muscle stiffness, along with all accompanied by other symptoms such as fever, fatigue, sore throat, or headache, consider making an appointment to see your doctor. Muscle stiffness can sometimes be because of exercise or injury, and this can be managed at home without seeing a doctor but sometimes when you should see a doctor if stiffness sometimes when you should see a doctor if stiffness or pain doesn't go away or improve with the home remedies muscle stiffness comes up can sometimes be because of exercise or injury and this can be managed at home without seeing a doctor but sometimes when you you should see a doctor if stiffness or pain doesn't go away or doesn't improve with wrong with home remedies and these situations when you should see a doctor after the pain doesn't improve include the following number one if your stiffness or pain lasts than a week if your stiffness or pain lasts than a week number two if the pain prevents you from moving or locomotion number three if pain is unbearable if pain is un unbearable number four if pain worsens when you exercise if pain worsens or gets worse when you exercise. Number five, if pain is causing trouble in breathing or dizziness. If pain is causing trouble in breathing or dizziness. Number six, if your muscles are red, swollen, or warm. If your muscles are red, swollen, or warm. Obvious when they are swollen and warm, it means there must be an active infection. Number seven, if you are experiencing pain in joints, tendons, all over the bones. 
if you are experiencing pain in joints, tendons, all over the bones, how do we diagnose muscle stiffness? Or how can you tell somebody is having a muscle stiffness? So, diagnosing muscle stiffness. Diagnosing muscle stiffness. To diagnose muscle stiffness, a doctor, get this very, very clearly, to diagnose a muscle stiffness, a doctor will take full medical history and ask questions about any potential injuries or exercises that may have contributed to muscle stiffness. Let me repeat this. To diagnose muscle stiffness, a doctor will take full medical history and ask questions about any potential injuries or exercises that may have contributed to muscle stiffness. The doctor may perform a physical examination of the stiff muscles and order for other tests such as MRI scan or X-ray. The doctor may perform a physical exam of the stiff muscles and order for other tests such as MRI scan or X-ray. Let's look at, at the treatment of muscle stiffness. How, how can you treat or manage muscle stiffness? Treating muscle stiffness will depend on the cause. So the cause will always determine the mode of treatment you are going to use to manage this stiff muscle. So treating muscle stiffness will depend on the cause. The doctor will be able to devise the the doctor will be able to devise the cause or the right way to treat muscle stiffness depending on the cause. The doctor will be able to devise the best way to treat muscle stiffness and this will always depend on the cause as we have said before. What are the home remedies we should apply or you can apply in treatment of muscle stiffness? So the home remedies. Treatments in some cases such as muscle stiffness caused by exercise or injury at home. Treatments may be may all that is required and may include home remedies. In some cases such as muscle stiffness caused by exercise or injury at, at home, treatment may, all, may be all that is required and may include all the home remedies that may be required may include number one, massage, number two, eat through a warm bath or shower, number three, eyes to lower inflammation, number four, over-the-counter medication, for example, brufen, number five, over-the-counter creams and gels for example, asper cream, and number six, the rest. Number one, massage. Number two, eat through a warm bath or shower. Number three, eyes to lower inflammation. Number four, over-the-counter medication such as proofing. And number six, over-the-counter cream and uh, gels, for example, asper cream. And the final one is the rest. This marks the end of our first video today. And in our second video, we will continue winding up this topic and I hope those who had requested it are getting what they wanted. Let's meet in the next video in a few minutes.